It's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. Today I want to share with you guys a homeschooling day in our life. I like to start my morning before my kids get out of bed, so that's between 5 and 6 a.m. I start with my prayer journal and my Jesus is Calling book. I use this quick devotional to get my spirit ready and write down a Bible verse for the day. I really like this journal because it helps me start my day out writing down the things I am thankful for my prayer request, a Bible verse, and to contemplate things I want the Lord to help me with. I am just coming out of a rough season in life, and doing these morning devotionals is truly changing my heart and renewing my mind, which makes me a better mother, teacher, and wife. At 7, I get into the kitchen to put the dishes from the dishwasher away and clean up anything left out from the night before. I also begin making breakfast so my oldest daughter can eat before she goes to school. And I usually make lunch for her in the morning, but today I had it packed the night before. Today my little one woke up feeling sick. I like to spend the first half an hour in the morning with my daughter talking with her since I won't see her all day. Normally my husband is the one who takes my daughter to school, but since he wasn't feeling good today, I did it for him. I took my preschooler in her pajamas because it's a quick ride and we don't even get out of the car. And because she's not feeling good, she'll just stay like this all day today anyway. Brush your teeth in the bathroom. Brush your teeth in the bathroom. His teeth are so cute. Most mornings we like to go on a bike ride before we get started with school, but since my preschooler wasn't feeling well, I let her watch the magic school bus while my son and I had breakfast together. I always give my kids some time in the morning to play before school starts, and I'll take this time to do any extra reading or things that I want to do. This week for our morning basket, my son has been putting together this giant United States floor puzzle to help him recognize where all of the states go. We also do some drills with the state cards and we definitely love to play the scrambled United States of America game. Okay. What letter is that? B. What sound does it make? Ba, ba. Like a in butterfly. Butterfly. What else? Book. Boat. Banana. Bite. My polar bear. Very good. Bear. bear. It is a polar bear though, but bear. Yeah. Thanks. Welcome. We started doing this trail guide to geography and are really enjoying it. While my son and I do work, I always have activities for my preschooler. Sometimes I will teach her and sometimes I will give her things to do. It's pretty. Here. Oh, my movie, true. Yeah. Somebody? Yes. No, um, yes. Uh, if, if, if you press the Zelda, it would go on that one. It would be her, her, her mental machine. Traffic jam. Oh, do you know what that means? Yeah. What's a traffic jam? Uh, Griselda was making a cake and then the balloon blasted out. So she was trying to make another one. And then the next one... Shaked everything and knocked the trees down. Oh my goodness. Then what happened? Then. She always go to the witch in the tree. Yeah. Yeah. She makes wishes. Yeah. She gets well, wishes. Oh, do her wishes come true? 
Yeah? No. No? She's true. Oh, she's true. Yeah. Okay. And Bartleby's the cat. Oh. All right, top it all. I'm going to go through them first, okay? Boston, Massachusetts. Montpelier, Vermont. Montpelier, Vermont. Montpelier. Do you want so it? CG. Uh huh. So then find it on the map. Hmm? You erase that, it's the one next to it. First we do, that's level two. But I can do whatever I want to do. You can, but let's do level one first, okay? Let me tell you the sounds first. The letters first. F, F D, C, D, A, B, G, H. Fine letter. I, you don't have to tell me these two. Or I know. Or this one. Okay, so fine letter G. Appalachian Mountains. So write that down here. Under what mountains make up the central part of Maine? You don't want to do this anymore? I do want to do it. But you don't seem like you want to do it anymore. You're picking the wrong letters. I did, told you it was cuck cuck clown. You just smush smush my ch ch chips. <laughs> I'm gonna do our calendar right now because Aaron's about to read. Okay. I want, I want my pasta. No. I want my because pasta. we can go make your smoothie popsicle, Aaron. Okay. So Aaron is reading a penny's worth of character, which is a book that he has to read for his language arts lesson in the good and the beautiful. He has to read for 20 minutes. So while he reads, normally Aralyn and I do calendar. She's not feeling too good today. She's been good though. Her spirits have been up. So we'll see how much we can get done today with her. Um, as you saw, Sherry wanted to do her letter flashcards, but then she lost interest halfway through. So we're just going to continue on and see, see what else she wants to do today. Ready? Not yet. I just want to sh sharpen. Sharpening your pencil? Yeah. Do this one. Not good. Okay. One. I, I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. First, we start out. We have nine. to look at them, okay? Ten. 20, 30, 40. Next, we get the instruments. Instrument time, I never pass my kids. All right, instruments. I'll never pass instrument time. Miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado y domingo, the days of the week. Again, this month, do you remember what month we're in? October. What what holidays in October? Halloween. Okay. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Do you know? 
Who? Which princess? The princess that Which one? The, the game we're gonna Sleeping, play. Beauty. Yeah, Sleeping Beauty. Okay, let's sing the October, the months. Ready? January, February, March. We have all of our numbers on the floor. I'll get it. Something sticky from you guys. Oh, wait. It's just the pictures. Oh, it's sticky tack. Oh, no. Okay. So we have our number cards laid on the floor. We're working on numbers, recognizing numbers 6 through 10. That was from you. We have to make sure not to do that to the carpet. She knows seven. She knows most of them, but once we get them really good, then we'll move on to 11 to 15. You should hop up and down three times. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather outside today? Where are you? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it cloudy out today? Come on, let's go see. All right. What's the weather? Uh, cloudy. Well, it's only a little bit cloudy. There's only a little bit of clouds in the sky, right? It's, come stand out here. What is it? Is it breezy? Is it a little bit windy? Yeah, yeah. is it sunny or cloudy? Can you see the sun? Oh, yes you can. <laughs> you can't look at the sun. Is it hot or warm or cold? Breezy. Breezy? But what about the heat? Is it hot or cold? Stop following me. Tell me. Uh, hot. Hot? Okay, let's go inside. Okay, now is it warm, hot, very hot? Very hot. It's not very hot. So the next thing we do are challenging words. And he has some words, some challenging words here that he has to practice reading for five minutes. Where's your timer? Right there. Olaf. Olaf. Intriguing. Meringue. Prologue. Synagogue. <laughs> Synagogue. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a weird word. <laughs> it's a weird word. Synagogue. synagogue. What is a synagogue? Synagogue. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look it up. In you know what my mother used to say when I used to say, what does that mean? What? She used to say, look it up, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Next we do handwriting. You said math. Oh yeah, we're not done language arts, sweetheart. After we do handwriting, we have to redo this. Arts? That takes 30 minutes. 35. What? So you were going to write this scripture, Psalms 100, with your best handwriting. Without joking around, Aaron, read that to me. I am. Read that to Wait. me. Oh. Serve the Lord with gladness. I want your absolute best handwriting. I want you to start your letters from top to bottom, from left to right. Okay? For the most part. And then you have your cursive A's. And then you're gonna write your two favorite animals, and then you wanna you're gonna watercolor this picture. I'm gonna get you watercolors, okay? Mm -hmm. And while he does that, I'm gonna set Arlen. Well, she's still doing, still doing art, so I'm gonna come over to my computer and do some things that I was gonna do. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making a list of books that I want him to read this year because I haven't done that yet. We're gonna use do different genres, and I'm using draw, drawn into the heart of Dakota where we have all the different genres. He reads one book from each and then he does the pages with it. So normally during the weekend, I am writing my lesson plan, finalizing my lesson plan for the preschool class that I teach at my homeschool co-op. And I'm also planning their school and their social activities for the week. And I am also, um, editing videos or doing any planning that I have. So to this weekend, I promised this little guy that I'd spend more time with him and less time working. Now I don't have any time to do these things other than the weekend. So what I'm working on today is doing as much of that 
as I can today. I should have started yesterday, but yesterday, um, if you've watched my video, I was cleaning and decluttering a lot, which was part of my um, project that I had to do. So I am going to do my best to do all that today so that I can spend time with them Saturday and Sunday and later on this evening. So that's why in between their breaks when they're doing their solo work, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my stuff today because it's Friday, by the way. It's fun Friday, by the way, which means for math, he gets to do prodigy math instead of his book. And, um, and sometimes we do different things. But today, I think we're just keeping it simple. Oh, we have to play a game of chess, Aaron, for fun Friday. No, National Chess Because day. yesterday was National Chess Day, so we didn't do anything for it. So today we're going to play chess. You know zebras, you know? Beautiful. All right, last thing we're gonna do for language arts is our language arts course book, where we do this for about 35 minutes. Um, he already did his reading, so we skip this unit until we're done his book, because it talks about the book. And we're gonna actually, we have to go back here. And we'll do 35 minutes in this book. I just used Wait, that one. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, bank exchange. <laughs> this year we're using Science Odyssey Earth and Space, and today we are studying how much of Earth's water is actually drinkable. Aaron, spread these out. This is seawater, and it's unavailable for drinking because salt water actually pulls water away from your body when you drink it. So this is a large section to color in. But if you want, we can drive a, draw a wavy line so you can represent the seawater. Okay, on this one. You can just like, draw a line if it's too hard. Okay, put it next to the tape. So. That's how much is drinking water? That is how much accessible drinking water we have compared to all the water we have on Earth. Hmm. Backwards three. You're okay, it's been a very long school day. And I realize I never put any makeup on or anything for this video. <laughs> But anyway, um, this is how it is at home. I just throw on some sweats and um, and keep it moving. So right now he's finishing up his lab sheet. And we're supposed to do Bible next, but it's been a very long school day for some reason. And we're going we're gonna to be done. And that's why normally we like to do Bible first in case it doesn't get done. At least that's done. But we've done it three days this week. We get to choose between three to five days to do it, so we've done pretty good. Um, after this, it's Aaron's free time. He gets to play Roblox or something. And then um, I'm going to do a little bit of my stuff that I said that I wanted to do for to get out the way for the weekend. And then I'm going to pick up my oldest daughter from school. First, I'm going to get dressed for real and then pick her up from school. And then continue on with our weekend. So thank you guys so much for watching.